Okay, you're on, boy. Alright, we're going to show you the Wizard Vapor Airflow Indicator. It comes in a nice kit, nice little box. I'm going to open this up for you. Alright, and this is what comes in the kit. We got fluid, batteries, the, the wizard stick itself, I'll take that right out. We got the uh, pencil airstream add-on, an extra cone, and we got the fluid over here. There's a nice little screwdriver there to open up the battery compartments. Alright, I'm going to show you a few things about this uh, stick first. Let me get this out of the way so you, I can point some things out to you. Right over here is the the, the uh, vapor generator. It runs right up through here. It looks like a little uh, a metal tube. It runs into a, f a fluid tank down here and uh, you get to the tank by taking these two plugs off. You've got a nice uh, filler uh, cap here on the fluid bottle. So you fill by just simply putting fluid right into the, right into the fill chamber. Now every once in a while you're going to also have uh, this chamber here, which is the empty chamber, which is uh, the excess fluid that doesn't vaporize will actually run back into this chamber and you can just simply by su pushing the bottle in, putting the thing in here, pulling up, you suck all the fluid out and you can put it right back in here so you have total use of all the fluid. Another important factor when you're running this thing is that the, this whole system works on positive pressure. You'll see there's a little uh, bulb right here, when you push it in it creates positive pressure in the tank which in turn pushes it up through the vapor generator. So, it's very important to have these plugs very tight because that, then, you will, then you create the pressure. Okay, now this is how we operate it. Uh, you'll notice that this is a two-part trigger here. This is the vapor uh, lever right here and this is the power lever. Now, when you push in the power lever you'll see the, the blue LED light that indicates that the power is on. You can see it heating up. This is just a little electrical, a little electric heater in there that basically vaporizes the material. So first you push it in for about six seconds, then you push the rest of the way and you create a nice thick fog. Now another important part about this is when you you want to make sure that there's fluid underneath the tube, the end of the tube down here because obviously positive pressure is going to push that fluid up through the tube. So it's a good idea that when you first, when you start the thing up and you're, you're getting the power going, just have it tilted slightly forward. And then you can always just push it back up like this and it'll make a nice thick fog. See that? That's really see nice. See that stuff. again. Huh? All right, we'll do that again. So here we go. We're going to, we're going to wait six seconds, tilt it back up. Nice thick wow, fog. Wow, that's nice. There you go. Nice. And you can just keep doing this over and over. Uh, you get total use of the uh, of the fluid, and it's a real inexpensive and uh, just a, a nice way to make vapor for for uh, airflow testing. Now you got the top you're gonna put on. Okay, now we're gonna show you this thing. This is the um, I'm gonna put the smaller cone on first. This is the uh, pencil airstream uh, device, and basically all it is is a little a little fan inside there. You push it on. You put the cone on top here. It only fits on this thing one way, like that. Now, I'm going to show you this thing working with a nice little stream of fog. All right. Now here you go. All you have to do is just get the thing going, and a very little, uh, just a just a little push on the trigger will basically keep this thing going uh, almost indefinitely. So I can keep a nice steady stream. You can go up near a pipe. You can go near a window. You can do anything you like, and it just keeps on going. All right, now I'm going to show you what happens when you, now you can cut the cone off at any distance here. So, obviously this is a very small hole, but the, more, the closer down you uh, cut it, the, the, the more vapor you're going to have out. Now this one's already been cut. So you just take a utility knife and really cut it nice and clean it out a little bit. Put that right up on top there. Now you'll see the difference in the way this thing functions. Here we are. I'm going to tilt it a little bit forward, remember? And here we are. Now I can keep a nice steady flow. I can, I can move it around. There you go. I can put it, uh, you know, you can even run it straight down. There you go. All right. 
So there it is. It's a real versatile device, very inexpensive. Uh, wonderful. Plumbers could even find a, a hole in a pipe, right? Yeah, you can put it near a light. You can put it near a pipe and see stuff flowing out. You can put it near a window if you're putting positive pressure uh, in a household or something. You'll see where the vapor goes out windows and so forth. So there it is. It's the uh, Wizard Stick uh, Vapor Airstream Indicator. Okay.